as far as how things are in Nashville, Music City, USA, how cold is it there, Jimmy? Well, you know, it's all going to change as we go on. The wind chill by the time the weekend gets here will be zero. Yeah, yeah. That's but- a big old egg. Now, my friends over in Monroe, Louisiana, along I-20, this was not predicted. They had all of a sudden have had some sleet over there. And they're closing roads, and it kind of caught them a little by surprise. They hadn't even closed the schools or anything, so they got a little drama underway around Monroe, Louisiana, and that part of the state. Tupelo has already got accumulation. Uh, I'm stuck in Macon, Georgia. I can't get home. I've got to do a United Way benefit here today. And then tonight they said don't travel, and I'm not going to. But it's going to close down. They're going to have four to five inches of snow in Atlanta, Georgia. Goodness gracious. Three inches of snow with sleet in Birmingham. And, you know, that sleet, I don't care how macho and make fun of, we get made fun of, but the northern people, no one can drive on ice. Yeah. And they, they so had a, we'll see. You know, back in 2014, there was a real bad uh, icy situation in, you know, parts of Alabama and uh, Georgia, oh, yeah. just like this. Yeah. I mean, it knocks out, sleet knocks out power. That's, you, you, you don't, if you hear the word snow, it's okay, rain, whatever. But the worst word that you can really find out for in the winter, particularly, is sleet. Yeah. It gets on power lines, power lines fall down, and it can be sometimes, if you live out in the country, uh, days, if not weeks, before you get your power on. Mm. So it's a, it's a big deal when sleet shows up, and hopefully everybody's going to be okay over in Monroe and some of the places, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, that are going to have sleet today. Blake Shelton is spending $20 million for a nightclub in downtown Nashville. Old Red Nashville. It's going to be based on the song, the 2001 song of, of Blake Shelton. It's a multi-story facility with a rooftop uh, bar that's going to have an overlook of the city. Uh, it's, going to, it's going to look a little bit, look to me like it's sort of like a mini version of the Wild Horse Saloon downstairs, same owner. But $20 million bucks, $6.6 million to buy the building, and then they've got to, you know, fix it all up. And he's going to be able to hit a button from a cell phone anywhere he is, and it'll show up on all the screens at the club. <laughs> now, isn't this part of a series? I think he's got one going up in Oklahoma, too, doesn't he? I think part of the deal was for them to build one in downtown Tishomingo. Okay. You know, okay. nothing like the one in Nashville, but the, uh, the same theme of Old Red. Right. So I'd say things are going real good right now for Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani, who got that brand ambassador job this week for Revlon. Make the money while you can, boys and girls. I'm telling you, you know, you're not hot always. And Blake's had a fat 10-year run of being really hot. And, I mean, I think a conservative estimate that he'll remain hot for certainly two or three more years at the very minimum. I mean, even if he's not getting the awards that he used to, he's still pulling in major bucks. Yeah, I mean he's on the you know he's on the NBC Television Network in prime time on a number one show. It really doesn't get any bigger than that, and I don't see that show going away. I don't hear anything about the ratings falling or anything like it. So, I mean, I don't think he saw that as his career path right. when he went there. I don't think he thought he would be there for like the you know the rest of his life or something. Uh, Carrie Underwood surprised a Christian. This is pretty cool. She's very religious anyway, yeah, and she I, has been. Although this, yeah. on the social side, she's liberal to some degree, particularly on subjects of gay marriage. And she went to this Christian conference, showed up. They didn't know she was coming. 50,000 kids in the Georgia Dome. She walks out in all black and lights into the song Something in the Water mm-hmm. with a little bit of Amazing Grace for five minutes. That place was freaked out. <laughs> I mean, they had other entertainment that day, but they weren't expecting to see Carrie Underwood, to say the least. So that's pretty. I think that's. I love it when stars do that almost more than anything they've got to do. When they surprise people and just show up on stage. I've seen it happen a few times. And boy, there's an electricity in the air that, you know, that make your hair stand up. Yep. I've always, and movies I've seen, this weekend, yeah. if you get a chance, Hidden Figures is supposed to be good. And this movie about a monster does something is supposed to be good too. It's got a Hunter Hayes song in it. But 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 not the. Have you seen the previews for the monster truck movie? It's really uh, there's some confusion about that. Uh, what's the name of it? It's called a monster something, and it's not about monster trucks. Okay. Uh, there was some. I don't know who got that one started, but it's a it's a story about a little kid whose mom is sick, and this monster with the voice of Liam Neeson leads him through on this journey. 
and that's what that's about. There's no monster truck in it, as far as I know. Okay, I think we're talking about two separate movies then, because the, the oh, pre- there's, there's another one about monster trucks oh, the, too. The, there's a there's a one that act, there's this actual monster that's in a truck, and that uh, it's it looks really strange. Well, I you know what I think the chances of me doing that are about as much as me <laughs> being able to fly over the snow project today. Uh, uh, monster trucks, there it is. Oh, my God. That looks like one of those shark things. Exactly. Not yet, you see. Sharknado. I'm looking at it right here. Yeah. If you've got enough money to go to that, then send it to me. Send me a blessing <laughs> pledge to the Reverend Jimmy, you know, in care of Danny Merrill. All right. Our man oh, Nashville. my God. That looks terrible just on the still. I know. It, that, uh, oh, I saw man. the previews the other day. I thought, you're, you're There's kidding not me. enough liquor to get me in that one. <laughs> you have a very safe time. Be careful with the weather there in Macon, all right? Thank you. Bye-bye.